Hey students, so Perusal is the external website that we will be using this semester for engagement with our um, online textbook. So I wanted to demonstrate just quickly how to properly engage in Perusal to make sure that you're getting the points correctly and that your grades are um, automatically able to sync back to Canvas. So always make sure that you access Perusal only from Canvas. Do not go to perusal.com and log in there or anything like that. You want to access it directly through Canvas. And so in this case, you can see I'm in the course and I'm here at the assignment. And so to get to Perusal, it will always ask you to load a new window. That should automatically take you to the assignment itself and to the correct prompt. So as you can see here, it's taken me automatically to chapter seven, which is the assigned reading in this case for this assignment. And it brings up all of the, um, the text here for that chapter, okay? So where you wanna watch and pay attention to is over here on the right side where it says conversation. Current conversation would be if you are engaged back and forth with a student, um, then that conversation would show here if the two of you, for example, are discussing something. If you wanna see all conversations and every post that has been made in this chapter thus far, then that would be all conversations. So obviously nothing's happened here yet. Your assignment directions, when you first click on perusal and open up the assignment, and until you close them, um, we'll stay here at the bottom. So you can see it says read the chapter and engage at least three times. So the first thing I'm going to do is read through the chapter. And once I've done that, I am going to highlight something in the text that looks or feels important to me. Um, and once I've highlighted that, you will see that perusal is going to open up the text box automatically. If you have not highlighted anything in the text, you will have no way of posting whatsoever. You can see there's no way for me to type over here. There's nothing I can do to comment. Um, I can't click on anything, okay? You have to engage with the text. That's the purpose of this entire um, app is that it, it requires you and encourages you to engage in the textbook. So decide what you wanna highlight. That's the first step. What out of the reading is important or what can you use to engage in this chapter? You highlight that and then it's gonna bring up your text box. Okay, and so you'll be able to type in your comment or your question, push enter, and go from there. Once you've highlighted something and typed a comment, um, then other, you'll be able to see other students populate as well. And so if you want to talk back and forth to a student in this chapter or in the textbook, and then you could also do a hashtag. So if you guys wanted to trend something or hashtag something throughout the chapter that you thought was important or that someone else did, mention the same thing as well, you can use a hashtag also. Okay, so you cannot comment until you've highlighted in the text. The way that Perusal grades is on the number of comments that you have. So if I tell you you have to engage three times and you do not engage three times in the text, you will automatically have points deducted. Okay, so keep that in mind. The second thing is you have to engage throughout the text. So there's a portion of the algorithm that is looking at, number one, how much time did you spend reading? And number two, how spread out are your comments? So for example, if I log on to this assignment like I just did, I spend three minutes in here, I highlight something on this page and then something else on this page, and then maybe I go to the very next page and highlight something there for my three comments, you're not gonna get full credit, okay? Because there are many more pages to the chapter um, than just those two pages. So if all of your comments for any given assignment are clustered together or are close in the chapter and it appears that you only read a paragraph, for example, or a small portion of the text, then you will not receive full credit for that assignment. Okay, so those are the ways to comment. Um, this is the way to engage with all students on the same material or information. And um, as you can see here, it gives you directions. There's no conversations yet, so start one by creating a highlight. You create a highlight by just simply highlighting text, okay? So it's very easy to use, it's very user-friendly. The algorithm um, should work well. It is monitoring how much time you spend, so just make sure you take your time, make sure you read as much as possible, um, and make sure that you spread out your comments. Okay, do not put all of your comments on one paragraph because you won't get full credit for that. Um, if you guys need additional help, let me know, but I hope you guys enjoy this and um, I will talk to you soon.